Uh, welcome, friends, and thanks for all your review, feedback, and comments on the Trendline video where we walked you through the top five features of Trendline. And actually, we had highlighted there are 10 unique features, and uh, you suggested to make another video with the rest of five features. So here I am in this video where I will walk you through those features. So in the first video, we went through how we can use Trendline to do shareholding analysis, delivery analysis, valuation, brokerage and deals and insider trade analysis. And in case you have not seen that video, I'm providing the link below. You can check in the description box and you can watch that video and I will say then you watch this video. Uh, but we didn't cover these five things, how to do a portfolio result analysis, how to do a sector news tracking, how to do company file tracking, how to do market result analysis, and how to do a back testing. And uh, some of these terms, uh, the kind of features that they provide, I mean, you might have thought, okay, I didn't know this, and this is great to have. So we'll look through this. Only thing we will not do the back testing feature back because back testing is a, a very, very wide concept in itself. And I feel just walking you through a five minute, 10 minute back testing video is not going to help. So the first is result analysis. And in result analysis, we will cover both overall market result analysis as well as portfolio result analysis. So, you know, whenever the quarterly results come, we all are excited about how is the result. We want to know how index doing, how our how is Nifty doing? How is small cap doing? How is my portfolio doing? And in fact, once I had shared on Twitter one dashboard of result which I had created, and I got a lot of feedback in terms of, you know, you want to know how to do all these things. So rather than complicating things, I want to provide you something which is very simple, uh, which is at a minimal cost. I don't know if the results are free or paid on trailing, you'll check. But uh, I think this is a very handy tool uh, when it comes to overall result analysis. So let's start with the general result analysis. And this is the season of results. The results are going on. So nothing, not a better time than current one to learn about it. So when you see the trend line, uh, you know, dashboard, the starting screen at the top, you will see the section called results. And when you will see at results, you have multiple options. You have all results, your stock. Uh, portfolio stock results, quick results, rapid results, and all of that. So let's start with one. So when you click on this all results, you see a results dashboard. And this is the dashboard for the Q4 quarter ending March 31, 2022 by industry. And you can see almost uh, 650 companies have declared their results. And out of 650 companies, 387 companies has positive profit growth to 32 negative. Uh, what is the average revenue growth of all these 650 plus companies, EBIT growth. So whenever somebody says result, go and check the numbers, rely on the numbers and even just don't rely on this number, but you need to drill down to understand whether this result is there just because of some 10 companies doing well, or this is a good result across. And hence you have a lot of drill down functionality. So first we'll start with how you can play with this result. So this is for the overall. But what you can do is you can directly start, maybe you want to know how is Nifty doing. So you click on Nifty 50 and then you have result of only 30 out of 50 companies which have declared and at a Nifty level, the profit is 19%, operating profit is 90%, revenue is 15%. If you look at the same result at Nifty 500, the results are a little different with this 17% and 20%. And you can come down and you can see which of these sectors have some of the best results, which of the stocks had some of the best results. So that is what you will see here. Suppose let's see if you want to see for all the stocks, if you do for all the stocks, and then if you come down, you can see some of the companies which have given a very good result. You have it here. Then if you come down further, you will have company by company, the result and how much profit they have made and all of that. And then if you want to know which companies have done best revenue growth, so you can sort it like this and you know you can keep going down. If you want, you can export this result in an Excel file. You can do all the jugglery you want to do. And for the same set of companies, if you want some other info, like you want more of a fundamental info uh, in terms of let's say valuation. So you can click and for the same companies, you will get all the valuation and all. So you can have the updates, valuation, technical shareholding, lot of other things, or you can just have a result analysis view. So this is how you track the result. Now you need to, if you want to know by industries, like how the growth has been with the industries, you can go and you can view by industry. And now you can see it is giving you a top five industries in terms of growth. So specialty retail has done really well. 
And again, if you remember in last quarter result, we did a you know, webinar with Multipy uh, YouTube, where we highlighted which of the industry are doing well, not doing well. Again, if you want to go through that video, the link is there. So you can find there are four or five industries which are doing really well on the revenue basis and the profit basis, growth basis. You can see the hotel industry is really doing well. Uh, you know, uh, in terms of, uh, you know, growth and all. And then you can come here and you can see by industry, how many positive results are there? How many negative results are there? Uh, this itself will give you a very good hint in terms of which sectors are doing well, which are not doing well, where is momentum, you know, so you can use a lot of this research where, you know, most of the companies are doing well, there could be some strong sector tailwind and all. And all. So you can use and leverage this information. So this is how we use overall result analysis, there's something called rapid result. Rapid result is basically as companies are declaring their result, you can sequentially track here and you can get a quick glance of the result, how the company has done well and all of that, the quick notes of, you know, the whole result. So this is a very, very strong functionality where, you know, you can go and read all these things. Uh, the result of PDF files are attached. You can go and read those PDF files. So a lot of technology features embedded, we just need to leverage these features. So we got results, we got rapid results, all the con calls and earnings call, which is happening, you can get all that here. And then, you know, you can go and you can open and see this con call transcript and all, even the investor presentations are available here. And you can go through some of these investor presentations. So all as and when results are coming, it keeps getting updated. And, you know, you can go and you can refer it and uh, you can do it by, you know, quarter by quarter and also there are a lot of functionalities. I'm just, you know, I'm just highlighting 30% of it in each of the pages. There is a lot of drill down and all available. You need to go and explore and results calendar. If you want to know in next, let's say next seven days, uh, which of the results are coming. So you can just go and, you know, select a filter and then you can, you know, search for it. And even if you want to track for your own company, so all this, which I'm telling you, it is valid for all stocks, Nifty 50, various indices, 200, 500 sector indices. But the best part is you can do all of this for either one of your portfolios or for your watch list. And that also I will tell you how to do it. But you can see it's so powerful that you can do all these things. So now given broadly, you know how to analyze quarterly results on trend line for the market. Uh, let's go and do for your portfolio or for your watch list. So first thing is how to create a portfolio and that is easy doing that easy. All you need to do is you can go and click on all your portfolios, watch list and you know, the portfolio names. So let's say your portfolio or portfolio stock and let's say I click it. So I had just created a test portfolio and you know, one company has declared results. So the question is how do we create a portfolio? So again, you can go to portfolio here and you can see when you click on this portfolio, you will get a lot of functionality. So I have just created a dummy portfolio. Uh, these stocks, you know, are just for dummy purpose. But what you can do is you can go and you can create add to portfolio. You can write some stock name. So let us say if we have to write a name, let's say Minda Kaur, and then you get the name. And let's say I can have multiple portfolios. So I have existing portfolio test and let's say I purchase the shares today, 10 quantities. Uh, 100 quantities and let's say some 200 rupees this is just for dummy purposes submit and you can see this has been added so now you have a portfolio of stocks and again you can check a lot of things how the portfolio is doing realize and realize profit the portfolio technicals fundamentals so all the 360 degree of your analysis of your portfolio in terms of you know quarterly results uh, in terms of valuation in terms of uh, you know ratios all of that you can do it here even if you want to see the technical you know some of the technical indicators some of the shareholding where fi is increasing in your portfolio decreasing so much of this you can do in your portfolio and if you want to go and track results for your portfolio you can do it from there or you can come here and you can just choose all my portfolio watch list uh, portfolio watch list means it will take your portfolio also and watch list also so two results have come Mastec, HDFC, and you can see those results. You can see all the details. And to create a watch list is also simple. Like portfolio, you need to go to the watch list. And then in the watch list, you need to, you know, add the stocks which you want to track. So let us say uh, I want to add. So create a new watch list is here. If you see, you have create new watch list. And let's say I give it a num name. Uh, let's say my name is value. And let's say I submit. 
So now I have a watch list called value and my value watch list already three companies were there. And let's say I want to, you know, add one more thing. So your watch list list is here. So this is the default watch list and you can go here and select value watch list. And let's say I want to add one more company in the watch list. Let's say ITC, I want to add. So if you add ITC, then ITC goes here. Then again, you can track in the same way, all the updates, fundamentals, uh, you know, deals, news, all the things. So, you know, when you click on news, all your portfolio stock or watch list stock one by one, you can track whatever news is coming or you want to see the deals which are happening. If any deal, bulk deal, block deal has happened or if there is anything important. So Lumex, you know, 24th of May, the result is there. ITC 18th of May result is there. So easy to track. So this is how you track your overall market result. This is how you track your, uh, you know, your portfolio result. This is how you track your watch list result. And not only the result, if you want to do anything on your portfolio and watch list understanding how the overall portfolio level fundamental is doing, technical is doing, when the con calls are there, when the, you know, the results are there, so many things you can do just on click of buttons. And again, I'm highlighting I don't have any commercial interest in trend line. I'm just as a pay, I'm just a paid customer, but I think uh, I have been a person who is really little poor in marketing. And I see there are certain websites which do a commendable job, but they are also poor in marketing. And that is what I see of trend line. But as a, you know, anal, as a researcher, my job is to get the best resources. So I find trend line very, very useful though. I have told you 10 functionalities. I know now you understand how strong these functionalities are. So we have seen the results of the market result. We have seen the portfolio result. Now let's jump to the next one. So the next one is company filing trackings. And this is not about, you know, which company is making what filing and all. This is a little more intelligent than that. And let's explore it. So again, go to markets here. In markets, you have this discover search filings. Click this. Once you click this, you will start seeing why it is so interesting. So you can see what is trending. So coronavirus, so basically what they're doing, they're extracting all these filings, which companies are doing to the exchange. And I think they're doing a little bit of natural language processing to identify on which topic the filing has been made. They're trying to do some kind of sorting and finding today on which topic most of the filings happened. And that is how maybe they're coming with this trending now or trending in last week. But you can see these are the things. So it looks like maybe FDA session is season is back. There are two filings related to FDA warning. So you can go and click on this and you can see what are the filings which have happened. And you can see the pharma companies, some of the filings uh, have been done where, you know, looks like Alchem company filed six and as with US FDA and they got three approvals. So this is how you track it. Or let's say, uh, you know, you get uh, something on res resignations. You want to know where the CEOs are resigning or, uh, you know, board member or employees are resigning. So you can get all of this. So it's not only a simple filing, but it's an intelligent filing where you can track the companies in terms of resignations, auditor resignations, and all of that. Or uh, you can search like uh, maybe, let's try to search some of the things I have also not done, but let's try to search it. And let's say I search for the word CEO. So you get all the filings where the word CEO is there. So, you know, many times, People want to track some sector buzzword, which are the companies which are filing about something in EV space. So I think you can do a lot of interesting things and further your more functionalities, like if you want to file in terms of categories or in terms of uh, date, start date, end date, or you want to track in terms of your portfolio or, you know, all of that. So you can do all of that. So it's a very intelligent, uh, you know, uh, uh, keyword based, uh, you know, filing information, which is there and, you know, we can leverage. So I really like that discover search all insider filing feature. And I hope you will also find it interesting and use it. Now let us jump to the last. So the last one is news tracking. Uh, how do we track news related to our portfolio or sector or indices? And for that, again, go to the markets and you have something called indices and sectors. See, I would suggest you explore this whole website in detail. It's very, very rich. It's just that, you know, a lot of information is present and, uh, you know, uh, not everything has been, you know, converted into a marketing document or YouTube video, uh, but I'm sure it will be very useful. So when you go to indices and sector, you can get all the indices right from your VIX to auto to sector to pharma to nifty to large cap. And then you have information in terms of daily, weekly price level and all of that. Even if you want to see the fundamentals of like valuation, let's see if we have some of the info. No, not everything is available. 
uh, the evaluation info is not there. Let's see if we have something else. So yeah, some of the information may not be there, but let me highlight about the thing which I am talking about, which is more about news. How do we track news? So let's say I have selected BSC Auto. So now you see that there is a new screen which has opened for BSC Auto and it tells you about the auto index. It also tells you about the price change and all the things that chart is there and here also you can try a little bit of technical indicators and you know uh, other things which you want to try to understand where the sector is but you get also a lot of companies in this sector all the companies which are including in this index again you can track about these companies and when you get into updates and you track on news so this is where you get so it's a very focused sector news which will give you news only about you know, auto sector, uh, which is like all everything about Tata Motors, Scott, so all the news which is coming in terms of earning and all you can track. So this is how, you know, you make use of it. Uh, also, if you want to track things regarding the uh, upcoming calendar about a sector and all, so a lot of things, you know, you can do it. So this is how you track the news related to a particular sector or a particular indice, or even, you know, you can go and explore it that way and you can do it. So this is what I had on, you know, these four functionalities and I hope this video was useful. So now, you know, nine out of 10 features and let me know if you want to explore this area called back testing, because it's an area belonging to quants, which is not the typical fundamental or technical. If there is a lot of interest, then I will try to do some video around quants for starting and explaining about the background of back testing. And if you liked our video, if you like the content, do subscribe it uh, to our channel if you have not. Also do spread the good words among friends by, you know, passing the video so that more and more people can get, get benefited and we get more visibility. Thanks for your time. Want to be a do-it-yourself investor or trader? Are you interested in data-driven concepts and strategies for wealth creation, leveraging fundamental or technical analysis? Learn business, financial, management, valuation and fraud analysis for wealth creation. Learn chart analysis, price volume action, technical indicators and risk management for both trading and investing. Learn systematic investing and trading with full automation using algorithms from scratch. 120 hours of recorded video content across eight courses, four learning tracks and two memberships. You also get a lot of screeners, checklists, dashboards and tools for efficient analysis. So far, we have covered 25 plus companies, five plus sectors, 300 plus charts, four unique trading and investing strategies and we keep adding minimum five to six hours of relevant content every month. As part of practitioner membership, you get to attend regular webinars and meetups and also access to our newsletters on markets across range of topics. We cover fundamentals, technical, quants and technofunda skills through various courses, bundles and learning tracks available through annual and lifetime memberships. Learn from credible minds with rich experience in finance, stock markets, and data science. Explore our courses, learning tracks, and memberships on our app Scientific Investing and our website learn.scientificinvesting.in for more information. For any queries, write to info at the rate scientific investing.in.